Hi and welcome to Buzzard Exploration. It's uh, it's a good day. The weather's good. A little bit of wind. Um, we're at uh, Bempton on the east coast of North Yorkshire in the UK, not far from home. And uh, everything's blooming, as you can see. Even Andrew's hair. Ziggy and Cooper here. And we're just walking along a farm track, which is also a public footpath, I might add, uh, which leads from the village of Bempton up to the cliff tops, where um, you can see all the seabirds. It's not far from the um, RSPB uh, Bird Sanctuary Centre, where you can buy your RSPB bits and pieces join the RSPB and uh, it's also not far from the World War II and um, 1950s rotor stations, radar stations. Um, there are remains of both. You can't walk to either of them because they're on private land. Uh, but you can see bits and pieces in the distance so I'll include some of that in the video, zooming in and all that. Uh, there's plenty of wildlife, plenty of seabirds, uh, plenty of birds of prey, uh, swifts, all sorts of uh, birds tweeting and carrying on, if you're into that sort of thing. It's always nice to see. So uh, enjoy the video and we'll uh, see you later. Still got some washing liquid left. Nice field of oilseed rape or linseed rape. Nice and bright and yellow in the sun. Just spotted a building in the distance, which I think is part of the World War II radar station, the above ground radar station at Bempton. That building there. I don't know what that is. In the distance there you can just see the Cold War radar station. The buildings are on the surface anyway. And there's a tunnel that goes down from the main building down 40 feet underground. All blocked off now. You can't go in it. So we're now at the cliff edge at Buckton. Looking down on the chalk cliffs with all the birds flying around, gannets, common gulls, kittiwakes. <coughs> mm. 
near the Kitty Works and how they get their name. There's a lifeboat out to sea on exercise. And the parachute plane we can hear in the background. Oh yes it is. So we're back at the cliff edge again. And as we can see down there, there's a ship's boiler. And that ship's boiler is from a fishing vessel called the Tynemouth. Uh, I'll put the date when it ran ashore in the description below. And that boiler is around about 24 foot in diameter. Uh, and when the tide goes out, you can see the engine and the running gear and that sort of thing. Uh, from Sp from Speak and Corner, it takes about two and a half hours to walk to that over the white stones and round the round these downfalls. And you can see all the bird life on the cliff. They look like gamuts to me. There's puffins as well. You can see them. Yeah. Them little black ones. Hey up. That's cool. You need to look at the video. So we're now at the Cold War radar station. There's the plinths that the radar stood on in the foreground. And all the vents.
up. So that there, which we spotted on Google Earth and wondered what the hell it was, is actually a Heligoland bird trap. There's a plaque on it, so I'll put that on the in the video. Hope you can hear me, it's a little bit windy. Ziggy! Bit of zig vision. Coat vision. We're just on our way back. Boys are still fighting fit. Are we fighting fit? Yeah. Sure. I am. <laughs> Andrea is, I don't know about me. Oh, we're just fighting. The wind's picked up a little bit, but then again, on the Yorkshire coast it always does. Alright, fighting. That fenced off area there is a, uh, an area of scientific interest. Do not enter. There's a concrete plinth there. Something. Not quite a lot, but there you go. Yeah, I'll show you the sign. Protective Wildlife Site. Natural England, Humberside Police, and RSPB. It's good that they set aside places like this. I think can't be really disturbed. But you can still walk past them and enjoy them from a distance. Don't start to see them So after quite a few days of heavy rain this week in sunny Yorkshire it's turned out quite all right this weekend. And it's egg. Like. A wetland here. So thanks for watching, um, check out all our other videos and uh, press the subscribe button, press the bell button to get notifications and we'll uh, see you in the next video. Which way is best? Come on, Andrea, which way are you gonna go? No. Boys? Boys? Oh.
I'm just going to try and go through. <laughs> These are some of the things we have to contend with when we go past pools of water. Ding, 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 ding. Siggy's got the idea. <laughs> Coke's rolling in the water. Coop. Stop swimming. Come on. Oh my god, Coop. Coop's a little bit old and a bit of a bit crackers. But we made it. <laughs>